It's Medicosis Perfectionalis once again, and today let's talk about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, the most common type of lymphoma. As you know, hematological malignancies are leukemias, lymphomas, and myeloma. Lymphoma, solid tumor of the immune system, not only in the lymph node, but also spleen, mucosa-associated lymphatic tissue, bone marrow, thymus, etc. Lymphoma is divided into Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's, which is more common. Hodgkin's is local, nodal. This is nodal and extra nodal. In non-Hodgkin's, you also get constitutional symptoms, also known as B symptoms or B cell symptoms, as well as hepatosplenomegaly, because again, non-Hodgkin's is extra nodal. And non-Hodgkin's is subdivided into B cell, 70% of cases, the most common, and T cell, the least common, 30% of cases only. It has aggressive and indolent subtypes. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, nodal involvement, extra nodal, and constitutional symptoms. Extra nodal like what? Liver, spleen, GIT, thyroid, testes, skin, brain, and sometimes bone. Constitutional symptoms are fever, weight loss, night sweats, and some sources will add itching. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is associated with Epstein-Barr virus, human herpes virus 8, and human T-cell lymphotropic virus 1. And we have talked about this before when you have talked about human T-cell leukemia. Some lymphomas will cause compression syndromes. They will press on the local structures leading to airway obstruction, sphere vena cava syndrome, if they are up in the mediastinum. If they are lower, they can cause gut obstruction, ascites, maybe spinal cord compression. Some lymphomas will secrete IgM, leading to hyperviscosity syndrome, because this is the largest immunoglobulin, as well as autoimmune cytopenia, such as autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Others will lead to, on the opposite, a gamma globulinemia, low gamma globulins leading to infections. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a late manifestation of HIV AIDS. It's the second most common cancer in AIDS patient. Do you know what's the number one cancer in AIDS patient? Please let me know below in the comments. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma can take place after organ transplant, in immunosuppressed patients, as well as in congenital immunodeficiency. What's common in this? Decreased immunity. Because when your immunity is bad, bad things happen to you, including lymphoma. The median age of presentation in non-Hodgkin's is 50 years of age. The older you get, the higher the risk of developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Risk factors for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, viruses such as human herpes virus 8, human T-cell lymphotropic virus, sometimes HIV, and sometimes even hepatitis C virus. Immunological problems could be immunodeficiency or autoimmune problems, radiation exposure such as H. pylori when we talk about maltoma, mucosa-associated lymphatic tissue lymphoma. How to diagnose non-Hodgkin's lymphoma? Excisional biopsy, not fine needle aspiration. We need excisional. Help the pathologist determine the architecture of the node as well as cell appearance. Immunohistological stains and flow cytometry. Immunoglobulin measurements, because some of them have IgG, others have IgM. Uric acid levels, especially in high-grade non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, they can have very high uric acid levels. Plus HIV testing, because non-Hodgkin's lymphoma may be common in AIDS patients. Staging. How to stage? We need a physical exam and a CT scan. It's musical. Physical exam, CT scan of the neck, chest, abdomen, or pelvis. PET scan help diagnose and follow up and we'll talk about this later if you have cytopenia such as pancytopenia we need a bone marrow biopsy to determine the cause of this cytopenia treatment of non-hodgkin's lymphoma radiation chemo transplant pretty straight forward so that's it for today in the next video we'll talk about aggressive versus indolent non-hodgkin's lymphoma Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know below in the comments. And until next time, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. Medicosis perfectionalis.